morning. Uh, I'm here back at the fireplace in the kitchen and uh, she's making some uh, fried rice for me for the breakfast. Uh, I'll be heading towards uh, Rara today, uh, crossing the Daffy Pass, and hopefully reach Bulbule tonight uh, for the camp. And uh, yeah, it's looking great. Uh, just cooking. I've been walking uh, about two hours now from the hotel. Uh, looking down at the valley, it seems about uh, gained about 400 meters of elevation. Uh, there's still about 700 meters of elevation gain to be uh, covered of this uh, hill. Uh, until now it was a uh, slow upward gradient. Now it's gonna be quite uh, steep up until Dafe Langa. Taking a quick break here. I've got myself a big bottle of uh, Sprite. Yeah, uh, the first one since Manaslu. Should take me about another two hours uh, up to the pass. And uh, from there uh, we will see how far we can reach until five o'clock. All right, uh, looking down at Joomla here now. I'm here up at a grassland. Lots of uh, horses and cows up here. Uh, the pass uh, is right here, uh, Dafela. It should take me about another hour. Warm sunshine and a uh, little bit of mild uh, chilly wind. Uh, 12.30, arriving at the Dafelang. Uh, finally up at the pass, halfway through for the day. From here it's again another four hours down to a village, any village. Uh, we'll just be walking about another four hours now. There is the pass. Uh, we'll down and uh, arriving at uh, Kaligao. There seems to be some people playing Dosi. It's the festival of Tihar. In a small village like this, maybe houses about 20, but compact, playing music and dancing and celebrating Tihar, you know? <laughs> Once again, I found myself walking through the forest. The trail had been stretched wide enough for a moving vehicle. I've arrived here at the village of uh, Norigat, a small village. Hello. A little kid. A few houses here. Uphill climb towards Totha, a little village here in Norigat. There seems to be a school down there and uh, crossing another bridge. One of those longest ones, just halfway through. Um, I think I've arrived at a place called uh, Cabri Odar. Uh, looking down, uh, two hills, and uh, in the middle there is a small river. I don't know, it's gonna be a steep climb up. Uh, it will take me some time to reach uh, Chautha. It's uh, 4 10 right now, but uh, it should be before dark. At Cabri Odar, there is a small shrine where the local people do puja or pray to the gods. However, now I was enjoying the walk while the sun rays penetrated the pines, casting light on the trail. Arriving at a small village here, uh, Harbury. The setting sun projected a fine color on the hills. The day had been long, but the walk had to be done to reach Chautha, which was still an hour away. I'm going downhill. I can now see the villas of Tota. It's uh, just uh, by the river in this gorge. Uh, down there, eh? A few houses. Hopefully there is a hotel. Uh, there seems to be a small school there as well. And uh, tomorrow is gonna be a climb up the hill. It's gonna be crazy, all the carved roads. Finally arriving in the villas of Tota. Here as well they're playing uh, Dosi. Dosi Boili. Uh, amazing time. Good morning, living behind the village of Chota. I've been walking uphill on this road for about 25 minutes. Uh, towards Bulbule. I checked the map last night. There seems to be a small pass, but yeah, what a great day. Our uh, sun's coming up on the hills behind me. Clear blue sky. The day had begun. I was climbing to Bulbule and towards Gurti Pass. I came across an army post. I was briefly questioned, but was freed when I detailed my journey. 
From the checkpoint, it was a slight climb to Gurti Pass, from where the trail narrowed and descended through the jungle. There's an army post about two minutes down there, and the vehicle road goes around this hill. And I'm walking the trail, the old trail towards uh, Gurti Pass, about uh, 300 meters of elevation gain from here. I was told by the man in there, there are bears in the jungle behind the pass, but uh, we'll make it safe, okay? <laughs> no worries, because the vehicle road is gonna be longer. This is much more interesting, I believe, and there's a small trail leading up the pass. It's a beautiful, clear day. It's lovely. It's uh, 9.45, surrounded by hills, and, arrive, and I've arrived here at the Gucci Pass. I can see some mountain peaks as well. From down here, looks like it's a massive jungle. Huge forest, eh? Wow. But we'll make it through, don't worry. Quiet forest, hopefully. Yeah. But uh, what an amazing feeling to be up here. Uh, Gucci Pass, 3400. The last one. The trail was unmarked. I kept walking, trusting my instincts. I followed the direction towards the lake, read the geographical features, and kept walking. Walking into the forest deeper. The trail's getting narrower, forest getting denser, and I'm going deeper in the forest. The trail in the forest felt like forever, man. Finally done with it, connected on the road, and it's uh, 12 right now, and uh, taking a quick break here. Hungry, thirsty, I filled up water from the river there. Sitting here eating my mixed pack and just enjoying looking at the villages and the snow peak, the mountain. And there seems to be one, one peak there. There's, there. There is like something about these mountains when you see these uh, snow caped mountains, peaks, makes you genuinely happy. What a day, it's, it's beautiful sunny day. The peak is right there, mountain. I had to climb one more hill before progressing towards Rada Lake. I had a few human interaction along the way that satisfied the social aspect of my mind. It's uh, 2 in the afternoon and uh, finally arrived here at the National Park. Uh, the lake itself is inside and should be about uh, 2 hours maybe at maximum. Uh, very tired indeed, really. Tired man. We gotta do what we gotta do, you know, to make everything a success, what we love. I'm now walking into the forest of Ferraro National Park. The forest uh, seems dense, but since it's uh, autumn, all the leaves are down, so you can only see the trunks, pine trees. And tell you what, it didn't take two hours uh, from the gate took about uh, 40 minutes and I can see the lake right here oh finally it looks so blue under the Sun oh my god it, it's it's so beautiful oh oh my days uh, can you see some of those blue color that's the lake it's amazing I think uh, today is day number 38 on the trail all the way from Arugat in Gorkha, Chum Valley, Manaslu Circuit, Annapurna, Narfu Trek, Tilicho Lake, Mesokanto Pass down to Jomsom and then towards Upper Mustang and then inside Dolpo walking the higher route, Upper Dolpo and then coming down to Fokushundo and then the Joomla and then finally here in Mugu Rara Lake Wow I think the hill up there is Marmatop uh, tomorrow I'll be going up there Destination is beautiful The journey was amazing I've made it about a week earlier than I planned and um, I was thinking of going up to Limi Valley uh, Simicot and Limi Valley uh, but uh, it's gonna be a tight squeeze Gotta get back home and spend some time with my grandmother the lake is huge, massive, uh, some flat land here, jungles, pine trees, it's a national park and I can see some snow peaks all the way far away up there but it's not really that high but it's covered with snow, it's mountains. Yeah, I'm just walking towards the lake right now to get a closer uh, view of the lake. 
I feel so happy, so blessed. Genuinely, from the bottom of my heart, I want to thank all the people that I've met uh, in the trail, uh, you know, who have uh, helped me uh, in all sorts of ways in, uh, in making this journey uh, complete and uh, successful. Thank you all, and lots of beautiful people that I've met uh, along the way. You guys are amazing. Uh, it's a beautiful country. Good morning from the camp <laughs> inside the top. It's about 6.15 right now. I'm looking at the lake. Seems cloudy, might rain, lots of condensation here inside the top as well. Had a good sleep, good food last night. The top setup today uh, is different. There is more opening in here. morning it's uh, 7 15 the sun's up but it's still cloudy uh, I've decided not to head up to Marmotop. top now heading down to Talcha try uh, getting a ticket for tomorrow morning for the flight if not then I'll get a bus today in the afternoon sitting at 2980 meters above sea level Rara Lake is the biggest and the deepest lake in Nepal it's surrounded by hills that are covered in dense pine forest it is a national park, sightings of wild animals are expected, however, with the increase in human activity, it's becoming rare. The park is guarded by the Nepal Army, who has the security post in the national park headquarter. One last look at the lake. I'm walking through the pine forest again. I can now uh, see the runway of uh, the airport down there. Small village, yeah? The town of Gomgodi should be somewhere down there. The high route of the uh, Great Himalayan Trail from Gomgodi towards Dolpo is somewhere along that uh, gorge, walking towards that pass, high passes. But anyway, that's for the next trip for myself as well. It's in my mind. It's crazy, wreck of a plane, huh? Which year was that, huh? There's a 10 o'clock bus coming in and I have to get to that point to get a ticket maybe, I don't know. It's, uh, it's 9.57, three minutes. There's a bus coming there and I need to catch it. Oh, hopefully get a nice seat. What's happening right now is that they're fixing a puncture on the rear tire. It happens all the time in Nepal. I got the bus at 10 a.m. this morning. It's a full day of uh, bus ride and tomorrow's one. All the way uh, to Surkhet and then from there it's about another 10 hours of uh, bus ride towards uh, Butuol. So it's going to be about three days of uh, bus ride. What more can I say? It's been a great trip. Great Himalayan trail ends here, but I'll see you in the next one. Yeah, there's lots of treks coming in as well. Uh, I'll see you in the next one, eh? Cheers.